41 incredible shot rally produced by a legend of table tennis in Nigeria, Shegu at the 2014 Commonwealth Games. What a story that was for Team Nigeria because they went on to beat India, India to win bronze at that competition. And so with that, table tennis in Nigeria started, you know, moving gradually towards development. Back in the day, if you call Bosse Kafo as one of the remarkable female table tennis in Nigeria, you're not wrong. If you also say Atonda Musa people, we give you a salute because you know what you're talking about. For our time, if you say Olufunke or Shonaike, for the ladies, you're not wrong. And then if you call Shegun Toriola, you're so on point. Sports fans, let's welcome the guys that have done so much for table tennis in Nigeria. Olufunke or Shonaike and Shegun Toriola joins us now on the program. Guys, good to have you. Come around. Funke, good to see you. Nice to be here live. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe she will cry for us today. No, I'm not going to do that. It's ladies first, so I'll, I'll, to see that we'll, we'll start the show. <laughs> Shagun, welcome to the show. I mean, you, you just bro. welcome from Kenya. Uh, I was waiting for you to do that, but it's good Thank to see both of them. Welcome to the show, guys. Uh, Funke, of course, well, I was asking the ATZ president, just now, you know, first female, sixth Olympic from Africa. I mean, have you been able to actually, you know, digest this? I, I don't even think about it. Sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and be like, oh my God, I'm really blessed. Mm -hmm. Though I, I don't have so much money, but I'm, I'm blessed. I, yeah, when I look at myself, what I see, I'm physically fit. I'm 42. I'm still looking good. You know, I have two children, wonderful husband. Really, God has been really been kind to me. Wow. Okay, wow. let's just go. I'll go straight away to Shergo as yeah. well. So, I mean, from Barcelona 92 wow. to, to the next Olympics uh, that's coming on. Um, ah, what's the secret um, you know, of your staying power? I mean, that's incredible uh, longevity right there. Well, uh, actually, uh, the secret is simple because uh, when you have, you know, you want to become someone, I mean, you want to become champion in sport, and yeah. when you try your best, and uh, when you succeed, you know, from the junior level, on the career that you start to be champion, you know, you want to continue to be champion. Yes. So that means you need to work very hard. You know, you need to keep on training very hard because you have a target. I want to always go up because start champion from the career junior. I want to be senior. Then after that, when you are a champion, in the senior, then you want to remain as a champion. I think that's what helped me because I always, you know, focus on you know, serious and hard work training because because I'm a champion and I don't want to fall because <laughs> to be a champion is very difficult but to remain, in the to remain is more difficult okay. so I think that's the secret yeah. yeah quickly um uh, your best performance um, definitely was at the uh, uh, Beijing 2008 uh, Olympics yeah, you got into the third round in that one yeah. uh, what are your chances and what are you aiming for in Rio uh, in August Actually, yeah, this time around the Rio Olympics, we, Nigerian team, we have a lot of chance this time around because the system in the Olympics now is different in the table tennis now. Okay. Uh, before, we have more players from Chinese and other countries playing. But this time around, with our performance, we have a lot of chance because each country has to respond two players from each country. So, so we have a lot of chance now. For now, we don't know what... Maybe we, we, we're going to win any medal now, but, okay. but I believe we have a chance to win a medal this yeah, time around. I have, I have, because your performance, me and Aaron, your performance this year is mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and in all over the whole world, the Europe, the Chinese, they have been talking about it. They have been afraid of us, you know. The, most of the country, is, you know, they don't want to play against us now because <laughs> they all knew. It's true. I'm, yeah, I'm coming in with, exactly. With form, yeah. Yeah, even even the system now in this Olympic time, the Chinese are protesting about it because because they knew it's not for everybody. It's 50-50 chance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No uh, more dominance of exactly. Exa exactly. <laughs> really, like, so have you set any personal goals as well, uh, Funke? For the Rio? Yeah, for the Rio Games. Yeah. First thing for is for me to get there and uh, try as much as possible to be a very, very wonder wonderful ambassador of my country. Okay. You know, for me, like um, I keep saying, it's not everybody that's going to win a medal at the Olympics. But then let them know who you are. Let them mm. know that you are from Nigeria. Let them see you and be afraid of you. If there's going to be a chance, I believe in miracle. 
There's nothing that cannot happen. You know, I have a, I'm, I'm going there with um, Edem Fiong. Anything can happen. So I cannot actually say I'm going to win gold, silver, and bronze. But the most important thing for me right now is for us to be good ambassador of our country, to let them know that we have a lot of good players in Nigeria. That's it. Yeah, let's see what's going to come out of it. In terms of your best performance. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the... Uh, the ITTF, you know, challenge series now, Lagos Open, Nigerian Nigeria Open, Open yeah. starting today. And of course, you, you guys are competing. Uh, for you, Funke, <coughs> how much are you going to give in this one? Because I know it's going to be part of preparations for the Olympics. And knowing that Nigerian players usually don't get to win that top prize money. I have worked very, very hard for this competition. I'm telling you, I really worked hard. And um, I know one thing for sure, where I'm going to, I just want to get to the semi or the final. Like, I, I don't really say from the beginning that, okay, I must get there. You know, because all of us playing, we are 50-50. Even all the Europeans coming or the Chinese that are there, we are 50-50. So you cannot actually pinpoint one person that is going to win the competition. But how oh, it will be so much joy for me to see myself get to the finals, I'm telling you. And to leave that trophy, you know. Like I told somebody, if I should get to the final. I'm going to dance like... <laughs> Last year, you did. I don't know if you two years ago. I'm going it was to even dance. just the semi, yeah. the semi-final, you danced. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to imagine. imagine. But Funke, before you start dancing, there's been a lot of worry. Female table tennis in Nigeria has been on a decline. What's going on? <laughs> I don't think it's only table tennis that a lot of things is happening for female. Female nowadays, they've changed. You know, I'm an, I'm an old timer. <laughs> I won't lie to you. I, the way I learned, we, you know, there's one thing to, that we know, but there's this Yoruba thing, but I forgot right, right now that we normally do when we were in primary school, you know. But right now, people don't do that anymore. Things have changed. I think when I was growing up, there's nothing like this internet, telephone. We were more focused. Now I was telling somebody that time, that time I used to live at Shomolu. From school, I would go to Row Park. From Row Park, I would walk to stadium, you know, for training. But nowadays, everybody is complaining. If you see them, they are looking for money first. And I used to tell them, no, get there first, be a champion first. If you are the champion now, then the money will come. You know, they have to be focused. They have to have passion for this sport. And that is exactly what is lacking right now. There's a lot of distraction. Boyfriend thing, a lot of things is happening. Technology. Technology, YouTube, Facebook. It's affecting me too sometimes, but I don't allow it to take the better, yeah. better part of me. So, and, and I decided that this time, if I have enough time, I'm going to call all the girls mm. to talk to them, to tell them about Funke, what, what has been keeping me going on. You know, to encourage them, mm. to tell them they have to love this game first. And I think that is the problem, you know. Mm. If they have, like, um, people to talk to them, because I don't think they have anybody talking to them about life. Mm. I'm not from a rich family, you know. I keep telling people, God, I thank God for who I am today, you know. But it doesn't really matter, you know. Where you are coming from is very, very important. Yeah. And they have to be focused. They have to love this sport. They have to have it inside them that they want to be a champion. Mm. They have to give everything they have. And they have to forget the distractions. There are lots of distractions, you know. But then, if they cannot do that, it, it, it will continue like that. See, in my, in my association, the NTF is doing everything. Mm. Before, we are complaining about lack of equipment, lack of tables, lack of hall. Now we have them all. Mm. But right now, we need the girls to be focused. Yeah. You know, I think somebody has to do something wait, about wait, it. Wait, wait, before we get Sherman <laughs> talking, guys, let's, let's go through the top eight players at the Nigeria yeah. Open. It's very important. So you get to see some of the guys that might just be going away with the prize money. I don't know Nigerian for table tennis for that. I say, no, Omar Sasu, no excuse from Team Nigeria. That guy, you Number know him so well. Seed. Number one seed. Aaron O'Quadri is 27 and one of Africa's top players who has dazzled the world of table tennis. So, I don't know what is there. The second seeded player at the Nigeria Open is the guy we have right here, <laughs> Shegun Toriola, at 41. He's still powering on. Amazing. He's going to be at the Olympics for a record seventh time. A legend is here. I mean, we should take that shirt and keep it. <laughs> 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 if you've known that, check the story last yeah. stop by. Okay, we also have Ola Benadek from Finland. Uh, he's also a national uh, champion in his country. He's seated third at the competition. I'm older than you. 